Hey Crossword Junkies, it's Matt from the Nintendo team and I've got the review of Crossword's DS for ya. You know, I actually debated whether or not to even do a video review for this game because it is so simple, it is so straightforward. Basically you've got three modes, Crosswords mode, you've got an Anagrams mode, and you've got a Word Search mode, and you've got a number of puzzles encapsulated within each mode, but beyond that there's really nothing to it. At the same time, I really thought it would be worthwhile to show you just how everything works because it is very intuitive and it is very pick-up-and-play friendly. I think the main draw of the game for a lot of people, like myself certainly, is going to be the crosswords portion, so let's just go into that first. Bear in mind the game's a touch generation title, so it retails for about nineteen ninety nine. And what you get for that money are a thousand different puzzles spread across four different difficulty levels. Personally, I think even if you didn't have anagrams, even if you didn't have word searches, uh, you'd already have a great deal here. I think you will find that the early puzzles are in fact pretty easy, but as you ramp up they do get pretty difficult and the tile sets increase to represent something right out of a newspaper. You're definitely going to find challenge here and I think you're going to be pretty intoxicated by some of the puzzles. And the great part is you can actually save and come back to them at a later date if you just don't have the time. The game features very intuitive controls which operate just as they did in Brain Age's Sudoku game, so you're going to effortlessly be able to input those letters. And you can even turn on a handy hint system that displays incorrect letters in red. Furthermore, if you're really stuck, you can buy hints, which will cost you time penalties and points. On top of everything else, the letter recognition software works really well, so you should have a few problems there. Really, my only gripe is that when you input a letter, it takes longer than I would like for it to slide over automatically to the next input field. And this can make entering words uh, you know, a lengthy process, especially if you've got some big words. Rounding out the experience are the anagrams and word searches, which I think take a back seat to the main mode, but are still enjoyable, especially if you just want to try something different. During the anagram puzzles, you simply grab letters and assemble them into words. Very easy, very straightforward, and it works very well. And of course, in word searches, you simply find the words hidden within giant letter jumbles. What's great is that you can use your stylus to very intuitively find the words just by drawing lines uh, in any direction. So that is Crosswords DS in a nutshell, a great casual game that I highly recommend. For our full written review, check out IGN.com.